Hello everyone, um, this is Start When Ready, and basically what's going to go on is that um, we decided that I'll be playing probably some games by myself just because of the time conflict. Um, also, we're going to try and really work on audio in terms of working together. Um, we'll still be playing together. Uh, V and I, that's how she'd like to be called, but uh, we'll try and do better in terms of like sound and things like that. Um, we'll still be playing together, but it just won't be as frequent. Um, so you can expect at least one video a day, at least. So hopefully that continues. Um, anyway, let's get started. Have you? Okay. So basically premise have you ever wondered how true love could be found out whether it was possible or not well basically ginger needs to because she basically finished her whole like rachel ray cookbook and she's at the last page um and basically she needs this one ingredient that she doesn't have in her kitchen and she needs to go with like her true love and things like that to find it and she can't find it unless she's with the guy she's in love with um, this is one girl and three guys uh, so I think there's like nine roots or something which is really good it's free it's five to six hours I definitely won't be playing the whole thing it's gonna be like a little glance I guess yep glance so anyway let's start my name is Ginger. My nickname is Ginge. Um, Ginge sounds weird. So yeah, I'm gonna be Gingy. Like the shark of the, like in Shrek. Yeah, Gingy. Okay, so yawn. I rubbed my eyes lazily as warm rays of sun tickled my face. Oh, hold on, that's my voice. I could, have I could have sworn I had at least one more hour of sleep. I yawned one more time, stretching. Ah, I don't want to get up just yet. It's not like I was lazy, but the sweet thought of indulging myself in sleep's embrace was just for a little longer. Same. Uh. Groan. Does she have, like, a cupcake right there? That would That'd be good. I'd love to wake up to a cupcake. Yep. Um. I basically do like my my diet's very bad um <laughs> okay so yeah jurassic park so yep um i was over the moon when i was given the role of the sears main pastry chef but actually preparing for it was just no, Ginger. Pull yourself together. Go, Ginger, go. I sought my face to wake myself up. I can do this. I can wake up for, at 3, 3 a.m. Okay, 3 a.m. for the next nine days, hopefully. I dressed up quickly, washed my face, brushed my teeth, and headed downstairs. Ah, my beloved bakery, Ginger's Pastries. The best pastry shop in our humble village. This is really cute. Like, I love the, the drawing styles and things like that. And this, what is this? Okay, whatever. It's all, it's all nice. It's all pastry-ish. If someone said otherwise, they were lying, especially if that someone was a dwarvish elf. For convenience, it was connected to my house. That way I could bake mouth goods for which people from far and wide come in enormous crowds to acquire whenever I want to. That's why I'd like to stay, or say, but the title of pastry chef was given to me a few months ago by my late grandmother. I am continuously trying to improve myself and get better. That is why I was blessed with the opportunity to bake a variety of cakes and other sweets for the upcoming pastry festival. Every year to show our deepest gratitude to the revered pastry god. Oh my god. There's a pastry god. Is that like the Pillsbury Doughboy? Yeah, it's the Pillsbury Doughboy. Uh, we held an event where we show and taste the best pastries from the neighboring villages. Nice. And this year, I would be among the best chefs. Oh, I 
that's so nerve-wracking. Ew, oh, change here. Are you up yet? Oh, it was this time already? How much time had I waste standing around? That is my chair. It's very squeaky. I'm so sorry if you heard that. Or if you've been hearing that. Oi, Gingy, where are you at? Stop yelling, Radley. I'm right behind you. Oh, that's that's one of our romance guys. Now we can't. He has the voice. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello, Ginger. <laughs> Radley was such a moron. And Radley, like, okay. It felt like we'd known each other for an eternity. I still remembered when we were running around together, causing a mess in Grandma's bakery. And now he was working for me as a delivery boy. He was quick, efficient, and didn't complain about his low wage. He was the perfect slow worker. Uh, besides, it wasn't like he didn't get his fair deal. He was allowed to eat as many pastries as he could. Why are you fatter? Like, if I worked at any place, I couldn't... Ugh, okay. Uh, so, who are the lucky fellows to be graced with our banker and goods today? Mm -hmm. Um, let me see. It seems like the mayor and carver requested sweets. Ah, uh, Carver. I still can't understand why you would agree to bank him anything. Tongue. I, I wouldn't even want to be standing in the same room as him, breathing his air. Yuck. Oh, rats, come on. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, rats, come on. I just cannot turn down his silent plea to taste the best sweets ever made. The poor little tar has to eat his food baked at 800 degrees and burn at that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Um, isn't tart like a bad thing? Oh, no, it's not. It's like tarts and vicars. So tart is like, what is it? Like a prostitute? But I'm very sure that is not what it means. Anyway. Ah, oh, ho, ho, it must be the reason why he's so tiny. <laughs> I snorted and shook my head. They really do hate each other. So, mind handing me the basket? I'd rather be quick about the deliveries today. And again, the tongue thing. I would never romance it. You have, like, the same hair as me. We were, we're probably the twins. Like, even our eyes are similar. This is... Mm. Why is this an option? Uh... Oh, sure. Let me just... I went to the counter to pick up the delivery basket. As I lifted it, there was a horrific ripping sound. And then all of my carefully prepared pastries from the night before were tumbling to the floor and rolling around helplessly. I stared in horror as the baked goods were completely ruined. Rossing, smashing against the floor and filling out oozing of... Filling, oozing out of donuts. Uh -huh. Rat Radlingy. He raised his hands defensively, still laughing. What an ass. Oh, 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 oh man, come on. Oh, you gold ah, face. Oh, har, 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 doofus. We can't other clients us. Don't look at me like that. Yes, even if one of them is Car- Who's Carver? Why, ah, you're no- Oh, huh, you're no fun at all. Radley pouted, assuming the pose of an angry child. You want to play so badly, silly pie, then yeah, let's dance. Yeah, let's dance. Keeping his fear of filth in mind, I picked up one of the destroyed cupcakes. Then I shoved his ruined masterpiece into his face. Why? Like, you just, it dropped on the floor, you ass. They're all, they're all awful people. This is very good. Frosting and crumbs smeared across his jaw, and I snickered. Say hello to James. All the color disappeared from Radley's cheeks, really complimenting the pink of the frosting. His arms dropped and he started to shudder. Uh, damn it, I forgot the voice. Uh, no, how could you? He gave a piercing streak, twisting his face in disgust while slowly backing away from the front door. What is it, sunshine? Where are you still going? Gingy, I swear, I will never forget this. So I will come back to get my revenge. After spending at least a century disinfecting myself. 
and then he went dashing away. Probably see him tomorrow, but who knew how long he would be for? Yep. Uh, <laughs> pastrios, nice. Uh, I retreated to the kitchen, finally commencing the baking spree. I had to give it all my honor to pastry god. Thank you. Oh my god, this is lovely. Uh, what is this though? Is this like a partition or something? A flashback of my grandmother and me sitting in front of a warm fireplace enveloped me. She would tell me tales of our beloved divinity, how uh, the pastry god's good w will enable us elves to live peacefully in sacred grounds. I remember nagging her to recreate the tale. Her words were so vivid, I could almost smell the sweet scent from when the world was first made fresh out. <laughs> <laughs> and for my dear lands abundant in the sweetness of tasty's virtues i shall give thee my fellowship to tend to thee oh my god is this like the pastry bible oh my god i love this i love this so much oh you're meticulous in their mm, meticulous in their actions with hearts in the right place i have no fear for this land to be corrupted by my precious children Tis my wish that shall be true. And the role oh, and the role of a priest, or rather, the role of the conveyor of his will was bestowed upon us, the pastry chefs. Um Lady, hello. hello. When I came out of my thoughts, a giant was blocking my view, or rather a giant's nicely sculpted abs. Oh, pastries. Focus, woman. There's a huge man in your kitchen, and all you can do is stare at his... Uh... I looked up to come... <laughs> she was looking at this dick. I looked up to come face to face with a source of low, husky voice. My apologies for staring... My apologies for startling you, though I was standing there for the past... Though I was standing there for the past five minutes, so I could just give notice me, please. Therefore, let me repeat, I'd like to... Um, wait a second, dude, don't, don't, do not, what is the smell? No, more importantly, what are you going in the kitchen? That's staff only area, shoo, off you go. People these days, I swear. I pushed him lightly out of the kitchen when I felt something soft under my feet. I looked down to be greeted with a puddle of mud, mud. In my kitchen. Well, you just dropped everything. Is that really like your biggest worry today? You, you were in being. Oh, being Benjamin. <laughs> Benjamin, listen to us. No, 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 no. Benjamin. As in, please put more emphasis on the B sound for you see my sheep. Yeah, weirdo, I don't care. Listen, Benjamin, I'd like to think that I'm a nice person, consider it, but for breadstick's sake, has the idea of washing your feet never occurred to you? Whatever do you mean? I'm one with nature, my flip flops slide me to grace gift bequeathed to us. Pastry God put me in the oven now, I'm just. Okay, come in, causing a ruckus in my shop, leaving mud anywhere. <laughs> okay. Are those sheep in my shop? This guy is unbelievable. Yes, aren't they adorable? This is Bethany and this is Bernard. Adding illegal trespassers to your crime list. A uh, crime list, since when is the desire to purchase cake crime? Has the pastry god be dethroned at last? Times change so rapidly. No, 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 animals aren't allowed under any circumstances to waltz in and any kind of show. Were you born yesterday or what? Pastry god, give me the strength to go on. Huh? Oh. But they are sheep. How does that change anything? Well, they're family. There's a difference. Get out. Pardon me, but I don't... Get out of my shop. This isn't said. Come on, Bethany. Bernard, we don't need to listen to this. 
but to be denied the entrance to public buildings upon normal people? Truly scandalous. That guy, oh, that guy, I hope I never meet him again. Benjamin and his crew walked out of the shop, leaving a mess for me to clean up. Radley, why did you leave me with all this dirt? I sighed and stared to purify my sacred gowns of mud and germs. Ah, finally I'm done. After three hours of scrubbing, polishing, and an additional hour of airing the shop, it was at last safe to breathe without a gas mask. The morning passed almost in a blur. Great, I haven't managed to do anything productive today. I thought I should make some thank you gifts for Radley and that Benjamin guy. A truly cotton dirt parfait do frickle you for Radley and my specialty for Benjamin's sweet spaghetti mornays. It's perfect. I asked Mornay, Mornays. I don't know, I never took French. I still have time to bake something, maybe. I'm Ginger, what is the meaning of this? Pastry God, why do you hate me so? I don't know you could sing so low, but here we go. You finally reached your destiny level of living. Carver, what are you rambling on about? My not so dear Ginger, I've come to complain. Wow, well, wouldn't be the first time. And for pastry God's sake, stop yelling. See, I am quite a cultured man that keeps his word, unlike some people. My yelling. Oh, I thought it was French music. I was like, spot on. My yelling has ceased, but did your music I could get arrive at my house? <laughs> Let me check real quick. Okay, so in the next episode, we're going to check if the cupcakes arrived or not. Yep. Anyway, thank you so much. And yeah, that's it. Bye.